Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Harriet coming back to the channel to create another makeup look for you. I love her face last time when I did a video and I look at the video and say, my gosh, her face is so gorgeous. I have to have her back. Here she is. We create this more like a strong, smoky eye, but I think the color is more cool tone. And I hope you enjoy the video. Keep the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Keep the video a thumb up and don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skin first. The first product I'm using is a lip balm from Dr. Barbara Sturm. I'm going to use all the skincare from Barbara today. I like to use the skincare in the same brand. I think it's easier because sometimes people, they have their favorite from a brand. Harriet have very beautiful skin. It's tiny on the drier side, so I'm going to use some serum. The one I'm using is the Hyaluronic Serum. This is a very beautiful serum, very hydrating, calming. And the best way, you press in all the area that need the most. You can put everywhere, but you know, certain area on the face, I feel that it's drier than the other area. Don't forget to give some love to your neck as well. The next product is the eye cream. And the last product is face cream. I always like to give quite a generous amount of moisturizer when I prep makeup. And anything left over, I just blot with the tissue. But I like the skin to get really hydrated Give a little massage, help to depop the face. For foundation and concealer, I'm going to use the foundation from Gucci, the serum primer from Gucci as well, and the concealer from Say Beauty. I'm using two shades, the lighter one under the eye area, and another shade I'm just using for pinpoint. I only prep hairier skin, but I'm still gonna give more hydration on the skin with this serum primer. I'm using my fingers just to distribute the products even out. As I mentioned earlier, Harris have very beautiful skin. I'm not gonna put too much foundation, just a few dots and I blend it out. The eye makeup is quite strong, so I don't wanna put the skin too heavy because I still want some freshness on the skin and everywhere else. And just on the T zone here, and I blend it outward. This is a very beautiful foundation. It gives you that medium coverage and beautiful to full coverage, but it's very. Very nice. 
you really don't need too much foundation each time you use a lot of times just put mainly in the center on the t-zone here and then you blend it out i barely use much on Harris skin i know she have gorgeous skin but you see foundation you can really blend it out and the problem people like pour foundation on the face put so much on and they try to blend it that when it looks so cakey but if you use a little bit at a time the skin cover really well but then it look like very i have a lot of life still for concealer as i mentioned i generally like the under eye a little lighter so i'm using the lighter concealer a little bit under eye area this is the new concealer say beauty has and i actually quite like it it is pretty good coverage but the texture is very nice and light and it have that kind of blurring effects as well You see just mainly the under eye area that I use more a brighter concealer. I always like to use whatever left over of the light concealer on this area here. So it does help to lift the eye a little bit as well. For the deeper concealer, I use that to pinpoint. The shade is a little bit warm within her skin, but that's the closest one I have. And the other shade is a little too light. So I rather use a little warmer than too light concealer for pinpoint. Harriet have beautiful bone structure. Skin a little light, so you won't see all the bone structure that it is. So I'm gonna use a bronzer stick from M Cosmetic to just bring out everything. You don't have to do the same way I do it. I say that every video, but like you don't have to do the same way I do. It's just the way I do makeup and that's how I do it. And the color, I love this color. It's one of my favorite color. It's just because it's more like a taupey, a cooler tone shade. So it's actually, it looks like a natural shadow. Instead, it's like a warm color that it looks like a, like a warm shade on the, your jaw or your cheekbone. And I just a little bit on the forehead area. With temple. Basically you press and blend the same time. So that way it doesn't disturb the makeup too much. I'm going to you around the nose as well. And blend it out. For powder, I'm going to use the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I'm going to use a bronzer from NARA as well. And just to set where I contour earlier. You see the way I do, very gentle. You don't want to like squirrel it too much. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from Refine. Harriet's eyebrow quite beautiful naturally. You don't have to do much. I'm going just to enhance them a little bit. I'm basically just do a little bit backward motion like this and just fill them in, make them a tiny bit fuller. But naturally, she has pretty great eyebrow. You can just gel them to go. You don't have to do anything else. 
and the way I'm doing like this, so it looks a lot softer. It doesn't have a harsh line. You know, if you like that look, then you can just draw normal the way you like. But I like it's pretty soft, so that's why I just do backwards and just create some depth into the eyebrow. And I'm going to try to keep the eyebrow pretty straight just so it's lifted with the eye shape that I'm going to do. So it would be something like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to use the gel side as well. This is a great eyebrow gel, by the way. It come out like little white like this, but it's going to set clear and this hold really well. You can use the other side and to really laminate the eyebrow shape. I'm going to use the prep and set from Makeup by Mario. I'm using the lighter shades. This is the color I use and use it to set. And this is a great if you really want to take time and prep the eye area for a major eye look. And you can just even out the eye area and then you use the powder to set on top. And you use some powder here and set. This way you create a clear canvas for eye eye makeup. For eyes, I'm going to use these four products. The first product is this eyeshadow palette from Dior. It is a limited edition. I hope by the time I launch this video, it still sells. They have five different new limited edition. I think it's beautiful. This is the only cool tone palette. It comes from the five palette they have. This is the only cool tone palette. I love these shades. I'm just gonna play with them. I'm gonna keep all cool tones. I also use a long wear liner from them. This is more like a navy blue color. You can use black, gray, any way you want. But I thought maybe like a monochrome in terms of eyeshadow and liner would be great. And I also use this single shadow from Sashado. A similar shade to this one here. You can use this same shade, but this one is a lot more glistering. And this one is just like a satin finish. So you can use the same shade, but this one I just use a bit more punch. That's why I'm using this shade. To start, I'm using this shade right here. Close your eye. All over the lid area. It's more like the crease area, so. Next, I'm using the same shade. I changed the brush so it's, it's a little smaller and more control of where I'm putting the product. Look up for me a little bit on the lower lash line as well. You see that when I apply the product, very gentle. I mentioned in every video that doesn't matter how good the eyeshadow is if you use the really rough on the, the the quad or the palette you're gonna get dust everywhere from the shadow so it do very mindful very gentle like the way i do you're not gonna have a lot of fallout so you see i just really applying everything very gentle hand close your eye the same uh, color I just 
change the brush a little bit. I just want to get more deposit. I'm using, is this more a blending brush? I use the deeper shades. So right now I'm just going to define the crease area. And then blend it just back and forth like this. So you can have a lot more depth. So something like that to start. I do the same on the other side. Next, same color, same brush. Look up for me. Just a little bit on the corner there. I don't want it too much on the bottom, so just right mainly there. So it's just connect the dot. Do the same on this side. Look up for me a little bit. So this part right here, I know it go very slow, but because I want to do this like detail. This part right here, the shape is up to you. You can do fade out or you can keep it round. It's all personal preference. I use the same brush I used earlier. I just, there's a little left color there and you just soften the edges out. Or you can leave a harsh line. Uh, you know, you can use a really heavy line there. It's all personal preference of how you want the shape of the eye and depend on the eye shape. So it's, it's your creation. So you can do, you can leave it like that or you can soften the edge it out. Look up for me. And I just soften the edge it out. Next, I'm using the deeper shade, same brush from the other shade because I'm not using that anymore. Quite depth on the corner here. Same on this side. Next, I'm using the long wear liner. Just define, look down for me, the upper lash line. Next, I'm using this to define the upper lash line as well. You can see that what I'm doing, I just do is a liner, but more softer edges. And then I just really extend the liner out. And smudge it out like that. So it doesn't have a heavy line at all. And then look up again. Do a little bit here to connect the dot. Look up for me. I changed my mind. I'm going to do on the lower waterline as well. Look up for me. Next, I'm using this Sashado shadow. Or you can use this color right here. You know, it's, it's pretty much the same. This is just a little more softer, but the same shades. Close your eye. So you see where I'm doing that. I'm gonna put this color in there. So it's quite intense. And then I fade it out to that deep blue color. Same on this side. Next, I'm using that silvery color. I'm purposely gonna use so you can see that it's pretty close. The other one just more shimmer. You can see that I'm using it right here. The color. Look this way. So you can literally just use all in the same palette. You don't have to get the other single one at all. It's just a bit more subtle. 
see that. And then I'm gonna use the same color, close your eye. A little bit on the brown bone area. So it's something like that. And I'm gonna use the first brush I use, look out for me. Just blend it out the edges. Before mascara, I always curl the lashes. So I'm gonna curl a little bit. I'm going to use two coats. Uh, mascara for the upper lashes and one for the lower lashes. For blush, I'm going to use this cushion blush from Bobo and Elsa Horst. It is the collaboration and she come out with a few products from them and you can use the pad in there but I'm just gonna use the brush. So they come out with the two different shades and the shade I'm using is more cool of pink shades and I think it's quite beautiful. I'm just using the brush like this and you just press it on. It's quite beautiful color, beautiful texture. It's like skin like. They have a nice flush in there. I really love the texture, it's quite beautiful. For highlighter, I'm going to use this palette from Tom Ford Beauty. I use a fan brush, just keep quite sheer highlighting everywhere. Not everywhere, but you know, the high cheekbone, nose, cupid bow, anywhere that you want to get some radiance. This is one of my favorite palettes here. Like this is just gorgeous, these two shades, really beautiful. I tend to use more of the deeper one, even on the lighter skin tone, I still use them. For lips, I'm going to use two products from Rare Beauty. This is a beautiful, like a rose color. It's more like a nudey rose tone, a matching lip liner. To start out outlining the shape, Harriet have beautiful lip shape, no cheating, just, you know, just follow exactly the way her lip is. I love the texture of the lip liner and the lipstick from Rare. They just launched and I think it's quite beautiful. Really pigmented, easy to use, long wear as well. I love this texture. It's matte lipstick, but it's hydrating matte lipstick. It's not too dry like most of the matte lipstick. It's open a little bit to me. The same lip shades I use for Selena Gomez for the Saks Award. And I know a lot of people are asking, what lipstick is that? But I couldn't tell at the time because they're not launching until now. So there you go. I made a mistake, guy. It is Quick Take Choice Award. The one that Selena wear a red dress. My assistant just correct me. It was like both. We did two award like back to back, so I wasn't sure which one. But it was a Quick Take Choice Award where she wear the red dress that we use this color because we didn't want to match the red lipstick with the dress and we just used like a rosy tone like this. To complete the look, I'm going to spray a setting spray from One Side Beauty. Close your eyes for me. A 
that is the finished look guy i hope you enjoy the look thank you harry so much for coming back to the channel i'm really loving this look that we create on her a very strong but you know sometimes i don't want to do just all neutral tone or brown tone and more fun colors sometimes is nice as well and i hope you guys can be more playful with your makeup i hope you enjoy the video always give the channel a lot of love subscribe to the channel and follow us on instagram as well thank you